winter in our area are getting multiple offers. Hey you guys, it's Shauna Overman with the Overman Group and it is really cold outside today. I don't know where you are, but I am thinking about winter and winter in real estate means a lot of things. In our area in North Carolina, a lot of times winter means sellers don't want to put their home on the market. And every time I hear that, I feel so concerned for them because I understand the winter real estate market and how it works. And it's actually one of my favorite times of the year to put a home on the market. It's unbelievable, right? It's cold outside, it's rainy today. The good news is we don't have snow here. So I wanna share with you today the five reasons that you should consider listing your home in the winter. Number one, low inventory means you have less competition. Traditionally, winter real estate markets see a lot less homes on the market, but that's good news for you if you're a seller. If a buyer doesn't have 10 homes to choose from like they will in the spring market come March, April, and May, then maybe you're one in three homes that they're choosing from and your likelihood of selling goes up. And that's exciting. I absolutely love when our sellers are competing with less listings on the market and the likelihood that they are going to get an offer goes up. It sounds like a great time to sell to me. Number two, buyers who are looking in the winter aren't looking just for fun. Nobody wants to get out when it's cold outside and go look at homes if they aren't seriously considering a move. That means when they're looking at your home, they're more likely to make an offer. An exciting piece of news in our market this morning was posted by one of my friends that's also in the business. They are talking about multiple offers. Homes in the winter in our area are getting multiple offers. I actually had a buyer that had an offer in on a home last week that had over 10 offers in January. Can you believe that? I mean, what could you do if you had 10 offers to choose from as a seller? I'll tell you on that home, we actually offered more than $20,000 above asking price and we still weren't the winning bid. So if you want more money than your home is worth, if you want to sell in a time where buyers will be competing against each other to pay you the most money possible, winter sounds like a great time to do it. Number three, two things are happening at this time of year that create that many buyers in the market that you're not aware of. Most of the time we see corporate relocations taking place over the winter. That means buyers that are serious and in a hurry and well qualified are looking for homes because their company is moving them to a different state or city. This is a great time to capture some of those buyers in the market and make sure they're looking at your home. Corporate relocations happen fast and these buyers have incentives with their relocation, which means they're not necessarily looking for closing costs like other buyers may be later in the spring. The other buyers that are looking right now that you're not thinking of are buyers that had additions to their family late in the year. There's usually a September baby boom that comes out of the winter and it creates another amazing time of year to sell your home as families are expanding and realizing that once their new little one has moved in, they've run out of space. So it's time for them to upsize. That makes the winter a great time to capitalize on those buyers in the market as well and make sure they see your home and consider it when they're ready to make that move. Number four, loans, inspections, and appraisals go super fast in the winter. Appraisers aren't backed up like they are in the spring and summer, which means we can see appraisal turn times under seven days. That's incredible, you guys. In the summer and in the spring when things are really busy, sometimes appraisal turn times can be as long as 20 days. We don't want your closing to be delayed, so this is a great time to take advantage of those appraisal timelines. Inspectors in the market right now are able to get out to homes within 48 hours. 48 hours from the time that you accept an offer on a buyer schedules their inspection, someone can be out to make sure that that part of the process that's so stressful is behind you sooner. Rather than waiting based on the appraiser and inspector's availability later in the spring and summer, you can get those things done fast. Number five, my favorite part of selling in the winter is that because of the things I've just shared with you, you're absolutely going to get more money. 
And it's not just me telling you this. For the last three years, we've studied statistics in our market on winter home sales. And what we see is that homes that hit the market in the late fall or in the early spring don't get as much money as the homes that sell over the winter. Because there's less inventory to choose from, because there are serious buyers in the market, you're going to get more money at the end of the day than you will when there are 10 homes to choose from. When you're one of three and all three homes are going quickly, you get more money. And at the end of the day, you shouldn't be paying closing costs for the buyer when you've got 20 offers to choose from. So take advantage of the winter market, get your home on the market, whether it's with our team or a team in your market today, and make sure you maximize your opportunity to get the best deal possible on your home. Take care, you guys.